Yabba Dabba YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar once again coming at you with another vlog. On today's vlog, we're checking out. We're leaving Koran. Oh, what a sad day. Uh, we love Koran. We loved it the first time we came here a few years ago. We loved it even more this time and it's going to be a sad goodbye. But as you all know, all good things have to come to an end. Uh, we're on another adventure. We're off to El Nido. Um, we are catching the ferry over there. We're nearly all packed. We're just finalising things, finished our showers. We're getting all freshened up and we're getting ready to head on over to El Nido. So without any further ado, let's Scooby Doo. <laughs> So this is it, our last goodbye for now, we will be back, um, our bags are gone, everything's gone, it's just us now, so we're going to go downstairs to the front desk, they'll come up and just check the mini bar, and then we're off to the port, so, bye bye, <laughs> Baker Buy two seasons. We'll miss you. I don't wanna leave. We'll miss you. Alright, so we've checked out, everything's done now. We're just waiting for our van to pick us up. We're going just just up the road. We can actually walk there, but I'm not going to drag 80 kilos worth of luggage with us. So we'll just come out here now for a quick stop here for our final goodbye. What's the time? I was going to say, maybe we have a time for a drink. You want a drink before we leave? Alright, I'm just going to go and order a quick drink. Okay, so this is our last goodbye. No holidays complete without a Jack Daniels and Coke. Let's finish this Jack Daniels and Coke and get on that van. It's, we're just going over there. You can see that the hotel's here and the port's just there. I, I walked to it the other day. We're like a two minute walk from the port, but I don't want to drag three cases, two backpacks. So when we roll, we roll in style. A van, a van all the way. So. But unfortunately, we won't be rolling in no van in El Nido. I tried to contact them and ask if we can be picked up with a van. And they said, sorry, we don't offer van uh, transfers from the port. So, looks like we might have to get two tricycles. We'll see how that goes when we get there. So, goodbye, Karan. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you so much. We had a wonderful stay here. We hope to, um, we'll come back here once again very soon. What's your name? Chanel. Chanel. Beautiful Chanel oh, and Chloe. Chloe, beautiful Hi, Chloe. Sweetie. So, we hope we're happy yeah. to have come to the two seasons. You, you won't regret it. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> Alright, guys. Bye. Yes, What's your Thank name? You, Neil. Neil. That's Neil. Yes, What's your Maui. name? Maui. Maui. Thank you. Maui. The security guard. What's your name? Toby. Oh God, that's the security guard. He'll look after you if you're here. So, all right. Alright, see you later guys. Okay, we're in the van, SUV, and we're off to the port. Alright, so we've just come here to the dock, but they've told us we need to go to the Montenegro Lines office, which is just up the road here. If I'd have known that, we would have stopped here earlier on our way. So let's go and get that sorted and then back to the dock. Okay, so we have to come to this, uh, this place here. This is the actual office for the Montenegro shipping lines, the fast ferry that goes to uh, El Nido. Um, as you can see, the two seasons, 
He's just up there. Up there, the ferry of the port. The port is just down the road over there. So it's about halfway between the two seasons and the port. But this is where you need to come if you have your if you booked it online, you need to come here first to check in and then go back to the port, I take it, give them the confirmation and then all is good. Okay, that's done. So what she say, they're the tickets? Huh? Are they the tickets? Alright. Hello. Let's go back to the, the dock. The ship starts to board I think in about 20 minutes, so let's go back and get our seats. Get our seats. Going through the terminal fee now we're going on the ship. We've got a nice passenger over there helping us with one of our one of our bags. Appreciate it mate. Where's our ship oh, over here? Little one. Three hours to El Nido, so let's scooby do. Alright, so here we are. Dropped our bags here. Getting on the on the ferry. <coughs> As I said, we're just down the road from the two seasons. Just there. So Goodbye Koran. Hello El Nido. Touchdown, El Nido. Okay, we're just gonna wait here and get our bags and then grab a tricycle and off to our hotel. And we're off. We need to grab two tricycles. We're rolling. Off to our hotel. Back in another tricycle. The wife's over there. A bit of traffic. Because everyone's getting off the ferry. Now yeah, we're gonna make our way through this maze of little back streets to our hotel. So we'll see you at the see you at the hotel. Check in and get into our room. Nice. Okay, guys, so we have arrived in El Nido. We are just about to check into our hotel, the Lagoon. Oh, welcome, drink. Beautiful. <laughs> and cookies. Oh, cookies. Some cookies. Ah. Cheers. Mama. So, welcome drink. Welcome cookie. Welcome to El Nido. Delicious. Okay guys, so this is the Lagoon Hotel in El Nido. You can see the, the fork in the road. That road goes straight down to the main beach. This road will take you up to Nakpan Beach if you follow it. So what a magnificent view here. There's limestone. Okay, let's check in. Okay, 
welcome to our room here at the Lagoon in El Nido. Uh, just a bit of a quick room tour here, not much to tour. Uh, but as you can see, you get like a queen size bed, which is a bit of a downgrade to where we were in the two seasons. We had a super king um, at the two seasons hotel. Um, you did get like a bit of a day bed. Um, got a terrace out there. Electric fan, big screen TV. Looks like it's clear. The one in two seasons was a little bit fuzzy. Wasn't really good reception there for some reason, but this one here seems pretty good. So you get a bit of a desk here. Um, got an air conditioner, split system air conditioner there. Terrace, little terrace, very little compared to the two seasons. Just two little chairs, not even space for a table or anything. And like I said, right there on the main road. So we'll see how how we cope with the noise once the once the the, the people come out. It's a bit quiet. I think maybe they're still on tours. Let me check. It's five o'clock, so I think maybe they're all coming back. Um, but still, doesn't look like there's too much traffic. But the night always brings them out. Um, what else we got here? Okay, now this is a bit of a, a weird one. Um, this is the bathroom. Bathroom, sink, toilet, shower and bathtub. The big window that looks straight out onto the main road. Um, one thing I'm not a big fan of is these, I don't know, what do you call them? Open showers. There's no shower screen anywhere to be seen. The shower head comes out of the ceiling, and that's that, that's annoying because when you when you're showering, the water can splash as far as you know the toilet over here. So if you're having a shower and you want to go to the toilet later, it's all wet. Same as over there on that side, it's going to wet everything over there. Um, they don't have one of those uh, a hand spray. We like to have them that way you can sort of wash down the shower screen, wash down, wash away the water and the soap. That way it remains all clean. Um, big window here in the bathroom. Obviously you want to keep that closed while you're showering. Um, cupboards. This is about all they have here. Just a sort of a steel cage racking system they put together. The safe's there. And another thing we're not really happy with or pleased with is they've got the coffee making facilities in the bathroom. Um, it's a bit unorthodox, a bit unethical, I believe. I've um, got a very, very small fridge there. Um, I've already taken one beer out, but um, what's that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Well, it might hold twenty-four cans if you're lucky. And that's about it. Um, yeah, nowhere near as big as the two seasons, but. This is what they call the Premier Suite. Um, they give you these little, these little sort of bamboo woven slippers. Uh, they look very itchy. Don't think my wife will be happy with those. They give you two towels. That's about it. Sliding door here to to, to close off the bathroom. Man, yeah, nice, but just small sort of cramped. I mean we've got three bags, we've got nowhere to put them. Um, so I might have to put one over there. Maybe one on this day bed. They do have one of these. What's that? One of those things. One of those things for the luggage. So yeah. So nowhere really to hang our clothes or anything. You go in the door, not you want it to dry it. You gotta hang them outside over the racking of the terrace. So anyway, that's the Lagoon Hotel. Um, it's nice, it's clean. But could do with a couple of improvements. So we'll see you on the other side of this. We don't know what we're gonna do, maybe go out for some dinner. 
go for a walk down the main road, see what sort of restaurants are open, see what's out there, and we'll take it from there. So thanks for joining us, we'll see you soon. Okay guys, so welcome to El Nido. Uh, first impressions of this uh, hotel, the Lagoon. Um, what can I say? Uh, we came in and the first thing we noticed was the sink in the bathroom was not blocked but the little plug you push and you try to release didn't want to come out so we had to call maintenance in it's been about almost an hour he took apart the whole trap the s trap the whole pipes got it working um, then i noticed we have an electric fan a ceiling fan it's on a remote it doesn't work it just stays on full can't slow it down can't adjust it it's just on full so he told us oh sorry we'll try and fix that tomorrow um, what else have I noticed uh, yeah just in general a little bit small they got a day bed in here but don't really know what you want to do with a day bed when you're out during the day could have had a nice desk there so you know guests can put their laptops and charge stations and things like that um, at the moment we've just got that once I put my laptop and a couple of charging cables and all that, that, that desk's overloaded. So, not happy with that. Um, what else? The bed. Just a queen size bed. I mean, after all, we paid 1,900, a little bit over 1,900 for seven days, seven nights here. Um, and to be honest with you, that's just ridiculously overpriced in my opinion uh, we stayed at the two seasons in Coron just recently uh, I think that cost us one eight something like that one eight for seven nights and that was just immaculate king size bed super king size bed just magnificent everything from the staff to the grounds to the facilities to the restaurant to the rooms to the service just magnificent Another thing I've noticed, they said free Wi-Fi, but they give you like one, they give you these little cards where it says valid for three days, or four, we're here for seven, so they've given, given us one each, one for four, one for three days, one user. Now, there's two of us here, so we've both got a cell phone, and we've both got laptops, so I don't know how that's going to work, I'm going to have to ask him, and I'll fill you in on that a bit later once I get some information on that. But anyway, we're here. We have arrived. The sun's gone down. It is uh, 22.7. We're going to go for a bit of a walk now. Going to go for a walk down the main road, down to the beach, see what sort of restaurants there are out there, get something to eat, and then come back. We've got a, a tour tomorrow. We booked a private speedboat tour. Um, six islands. Hopefully that turns out to be okay. So we'll take you with us on that. Um, so for now, let's go and get something to eat. Alright, so we're just walking downtown here and like this place has changed dramatically since we were here last time. There's all these stores behind us, all these, all these new buildings. Wasn't here when we were here last time. And even up here you can see these apartment rooms. This whole building here. And even down there up on that, up on that left side. That wasn't there last time we were here, so it's really hard trying to find a place, accommodation here when sometimes half the stuff isn't even listed on, you know, like TripAdvisor, Agoda or Booking.com. So it's a little bit annoying when you come here and think, oh wow, I could have booked something here. But anyway, let's go for a walk. Let's get something to eat. You can see the place has been concreted nicely compared to last time. Now we've just walked up to this place. This place looks like it's got pretty much everything. All the tours, everything you need to do, everything you want to do. So we're going to try and get some information on some of the tours. 
and see how see how they um, shape up. This is the char race char race grill. Pretty much fresh seafood here on the front here. You choose your fish, they'll cook it up for you. But all the tables are taken, even up there. We normally sit right on the edge, but everything looks booked, taken. So let's go for a walk maybe down that way and see if there's anything we can find that way. High tide, let's see. Let's check out the rest of the beach down here. Okay, so we've decided on scene on site seafront. I don't know if you can see that. So they've got a selection of seafood out the front here. You got your snapper, you got your clams, mussels, prawns, big squid there. They got chicken, they got pork, little baby lobster. So we're gonna we're going to take a seat in this restaurant. That table right there has got our name on it. So we're going to go and sit down and have something to eat. Okay, so we've taken a seat, ordered our food. Look at the waves just lapping up on the front of this restaurant here. I think some of these places have been ordered to cut back their buildings due to the high tide. Um, certain violations but I don't know the waves are still coming up I might have to chop them back even more the place looks all right a lot of people which normally indicates good food good vibes so we've ordered our drinks I've got me here yeah, you guessed it Uncle Jack wife's got a mango shake but she's not happy with that it just tastes like it's, it's like got lemon mixed with it so not a good score there for the mango shake normally they're nice and sweet but this one tastes a little bit soury let's hope the food is better okay so we've just finished our dinner finishing up on the drinks Waiting on our bill now, we're going to head back to the hotel, so we'll see you up there. What's your name? Zay. Zay? Jay. 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 I'm Zoc. Zay. Thank you. Really nice meal. Alright, so that's the belly full once again. Time to go back to the hotel. Get some rest. We got a big tour on for us tomorrow. <laughs> As you can see, the water is just coming straight up almost to these restaurants here. When we were here last time, the uh, Char Race Grill, they put chairs in front of the restaurant. In front of the restaurant, and like. There'd be people sitting there in the chairs and the water's just coming straight up underneath them. It's funny to watch that. There's some nice laser lights there in the sand. Kids playing in the sand. Nine o'clock at night. Kids are still playing in the sand. Yeah, Big Joe. Yeah. What's this? See, see Jane Resto Bar? Yeah, I see Jane Resto Bar. What's your yeah. name? What's your name? What's your name? Uh, my name? Yeah. Yeah, Antipolo. Antipolo. Yeah. Your name? My name is Laguna. Laguna? My name yeah. is, my name is El Nido. El Nido, my name. Oh. Arian. YouTube. Huh? YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Have a good night. Okay, friendly locals, whenever they see a camera, they can't miss the opportunity to say hello. After all, every Filipino loves the camera, they love taking pictures. Alright, let's 
I think my wife needs to buy some shampoo on that. So we're going to get that and then head home. I head back to the hotel. So we've just come into this little grocery store. And they've got everything here. Johnny Walker. Black Label. Gold Label. Uncle Jack. Jim Beam. Captain Morgan. They've got everything here. This place is just across the road from that uh, tourist center we walked into before. It's on the corner here on the main road just before you hit the beach. We've got the Braco around. This stuff's really nice. 130 peso a bottle. Cheap. Underway rum, no prices there, a little bottle of the rum, 45 peso, that's crazy, that's like a dollar. And they've got the Cossack vodka, 130. <laughs> Triple sex, 260. Gilby's vodka, 415. The gin, 370. They got us an assortment of white wines, red wines, yellowtail, stuff from Australia. How much is that? 650 peso. Yellowtail. Jacob's Creek, 950, another one from Australia. Jack Daniels. One eight twenty, thousand eight hundred and twenty, Shivers Regal. Four thousand five hundred. Old number seven, that one's that one's 1820. That one's 1920. Johnny Walker Black Label. 1590. Rem Martin, 3960. Glenn footage, 2000. Can't see that. 2890. Red label Johnny 990. So they got pretty much Bailey's. How much is the Bailey's? And that's like one one thousand. Yeah, can't be thousand there. Thousand and fifty for the Kalua. Contro, can't see that properly. So they got some, they got everything here, and decent prices. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, so we've got our goodies from the grocery store. Now we're heading back to the hotel. Yeah, as the wife just pointed out, she's looking for a rubbish bin. And uh, there's one thing you, they lack in these areas: uh, public rubbish bins. Then they wonder why people throw shit all over the place. They need to provide the public with rubbish bins so they can just throw their rubbish away. Otherwise, they're going to secretly throw things everywhere, anywhere. So, well, this is this road's been blocked. I was trying to get in. People everywhere, tricycles everywhere, madness as usual in El Nido. Right, wife looks like she's found a rubbish bin over there, or it's just a box.
might not find rubbish bins, but every now and then you'll see a box placed in certain places where you can throw your rubbish. You could get a tricycle, but it's a nice night. Good to get, good to get some exercise while you're out in these places instead of just going on your tours, back to the hotel and then going to eat. You can burn some of your uh, calories off. It's getting a bit dark up here, so I might give it a quick snip and we'll resume in three, two, and we're here. Nice big modern hotel. Nice big modern prices as well. So we had our accommodation cancelled at the El Nest due to uh, violations of the uh, easement code or something like that and we had to find another place in a hurry because they, they actually closed them down two to three weeks before we were arriving here so I found this place and it's not nice when you're forced to rush yourself to find accommodation especially here in El Nido because there are so many places and I, I personally believe half of them aren't even listed on Booking.com or Agoda or any of these travel sites. Unless you know of them personally, you, you're just not going to find them. So try and do some research before you come to El Nido. Go to TripAdvisor. Look at all the reviews. Look at try and find pictures. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in something that you're not going to be happy with or you're going to find yourself something that's going to be overpriced and you're not going to be happy with. And, yeah, that's about it. So, all right, time to go up. All right, guys, we're back in our hotel room now. So, thanks for joining us on today's little adventure. We did check out of the two seasons in Coron. We travelled on the fast ferry to El Nido. And now we're just going to relax. We've just come back from dinner. We've had a nice meal. Tomorrow we have a fast or speedboat tour. Six destinations. Hope you can join us on that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, subscribe, make sure you click that bell notification. That way you are notified of my future uploads. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button right there. And I hope you can join us on our next adventure. Um, so till then, peace out.